No. <laughs> what is up you guys? My name is Dane. Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is day two of the Pass Creek Yurt. If you haven't already seen it, check out the last video. There's a link in the description. Oh yeah, nice fire. Mm -hmm. And we're getting ready to have breakfast. Potatoes and onions. Awesome. We also have some eggs. So today's plan is to head straight up this way for the morning and see what it's like up in there. And if it's not any good, we might go try over this way this afternoon. But if it's good, we'll just stick around there. But before that, over here, this is where the firewood is kept. And whoever was in here before us didn't fill it quite full enough. So we had just enough to make it through the night. So we gotta open up the floor and refill the firewood. For those of you that have no idea what just happened, I just put these on the backs of my skis, which are called skins. They have fibers running this way, so the snow won't slide the other way. So as you slide up, you don't slide back down, so you can go up. All right, we're taking off. Heading up, just away from the yurt, starting our uphill climb. This is the north slope that you want the snow. This is the south that you don't want. Snowmobilers aren't supposed to come back in here. Because this is for the skiers that ski to the yurt. But apparently uh, they don't care about the rules anymore so we're gonna have to try and find some nice places where they haven't been. So we hiked quite a while there. We finally found a place where we think there might be some skiable terrain. So we're gonna see if we can't make some turns a little bit maybe. <laughs> All right, let's get it. With the way the last run went, we're thinking we might go around this bowl over to that ridge and ski down the other side of it. And then go back to the yurt for lunch. So that could be a hike, but it'll be fun. So our idea didn't work out as planned. It kind of cliffs out and gets a little sketchy. So we're going back. I'm just walking backwards. And then we're gonna go down and back up just across instead of around. So that's the plan.
trenches are everywhere. Just since we came in yesterday, everything has been torn up over here on this side. And it's really bad in some places. And yeah, really bad most of the way. It's hard to even ski on this, you know, track going out to the yurt. They turned around right back there, so that's good. This is all just ski tracks, so we'll come back here maybe. All right, the last clips were a little bit choppy because my battery was dying, but we just came in, we ate a little bit of food, grabbed some new batteries, and now we're headed back out. And we'll see if we can find some uh, snow that's not super tracked up with snowmobiles. It's crazy that they're in here. They're not supposed to be. So, I don't know. We'll see. Time to get it. That last run was real nice. This next run, we're gonna come down this. So, we finally found some good snow without <sighs> snowmobile tracks. So that's awesome. Getting going on our dinner. Starting to boil the water for the pasta. Cutting the peppers. We forgot zucchini. But tonight's meal is no pasta peppers. with peppers. peppers, I guess. Peppers. And uh, uh, what else do we throw in there? Tomatoes and all kinds of different things. Today was an awesome day. We finally found some snow without snowmobile tracks all the way through it. Uh, got some good runs in, and now we're just kind of hanging out. Had a really good dinner. Uh, we're just chilling by the fire, drinking some tea. And so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, click subscribe, and stay tuned for day three coming soon.